Hi, I'm Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools. As woodworkers, we use a lot of different types of hammers and mallets than a carpenter, a mechanic, or a metal worker. Some of these mallets include bench mallets, carving mallets, and dead blow hammers. Let's take a quick look at the different uses that these tools are specifically suited for and why they make a great addition to any woodworking shop. The first hammer we'll take a look at is the large bench mallet. This mallet is very distinctly known because it has angled faces to it. This is because it's designed specifically to be used for pounding on things like mortise chisels where we're well above our work surface. I have a mortise chisel here. If I'm chopping a mortise, you can see that this chisel is very high above my workbench and by having that angled shape we can pound on the chisel without having any issues with trying to hold the hammer up high to get a square strike. The next type of hammer or mallet is the carving mallet and these come in a few different sizes a large a small and we also have a nice little brass carving mallet. They each have their place in any woodworking shop. The large carver's mallet makes a great addition for driving large chisels, large carving tools, and can be used even with your standard bench chisels when you need a little bit of finesse and power for making a cut. The small carver's mallet also is wonderful. It allows great finesse and is ideal for smaller tools like small carving gouges or for smaller bench chisels. The brass carving mallet is great because it gets into nice tight places because it's so small but still has plenty of heft for larger, more aggressive jobs. I love to keep a brass mallet around. If you've ever been working on a machine and have a stubborn stock or corroded screw, you can use these with a shank through screwdriver to give that screw a shock without damaging the screwdriver or the tool itself. So if you're working with tools that don't necessarily have a wooden handle, this is a great tool to have. Finally, we have a dead blow mallet. If you don't have one of these in your shop, you're really missing out. These are specifically for assembling projects. They have a soft plastic head and they're filled with a shot. So when you strike your workpiece, they don't bounce like a traditional hammer would. So you're less likely to get marks in your workpiece and you're gonna be transferring all of your energy very consistently into your workpiece. Having the right tools for the job is the name of the game and with a good assortment of mallets from Narex, you're always going to have the right tool for the job. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog where you can find more information on the tools that we use here in our shop as well as the projects we make every day.